What's up guys? So we got the Google Pixel 8 here and as we all know with the Google Pixel 7 and 7 Pro with the Tensor chip this phone had or those phones had overheating issues so if you were to go outside and record video the screen would dim when those phones would overheat and you can't record anymore. Hopefully it's not too windy right now. So we're gonna film some video and shoot some pictures to try to get this phone hot and in the sun and see if it does the same thing as my Pixel 7 Pro from last year did. And to see if the Tensor G3 chipset is better than last year. So let's go ahead and shoot some video on the Pixel 8, try to get this puppy warm and see if it still works. Don't forget to subscribe to Sick Eric Tech if you want to see more videos like this. So. Let's get started, shall we? Okay, so we got the Google Pixel 8 just out of the car and we are in the bright sunlight. We have adaptive brightness on, so you can see right there. You pretty much can see this in the sun. And uh, let's go ahead and shoot some video and see if we could dim this down. So hopefully this is captured okay. But uh, we are in the sun and you can pretty much see the phone. And let's go ahead and make this phone hot. That way we can see if the dims. And there we go, adapter brightness is on. So it's dimming now just because we're in the shade. So let's get started with some video, shall we? All right, so we got the Pixel 8 right here, front facing footage, 4K, 30 frames per second, and hopefully it's not too windy. And uh, let's go ahead and turn over here. And hopefully you guys can hear me out of those microphones. So let's go ahead and warm this phone up with some video and some pictures, which I'll probably just show the uh, video on this. So here's a stabilization of the Pixel 8. It's pretty windy out here. So hopefully you guys can hear me. And uh, let's get it in the sun and get this phone hot, shall we? All right, so here we go. We did just have our annular eclipse not too long ago today, so that was pretty exciting. And uh, yeah, we're at the park and checking out the Pixel 8 as far as it overheating. And it's not as hot as it usually has been in the past. Uh, so hopefully this works, but we are in the sunlight and hopefully uh, we can get this pixel to overheat and maybe give a warning saying it's too hot or whatever. But like I said, it's definitely not as hot. It's a very nice cool day, probably upper 70s, maybe 80, maybe. 
So it's not that hot as it has been this past summer time. So hopefully it doesn't affect anything. So let's go ahead and continue with the video, shall we? By the way, this is front facing camera, 4K, 30 frames per second, running it in this TikTok, whatever the crap format. So let's continue. All right, so let's get some 4K 60 frames per second, see if we could get this phone hot. So far, it is doing pretty well. No warnings, no nothing, as far as anything goes. Four K sixty frames per second. All right, so phone is doing okay so far. We've been recording some video and trying to get this phone hot, and still no warning have popped up on this device saying it's too hot or anything. I think with the Pixel Seven. We probably would have seen some sort of pop-up saying can't record video phone is too warm blah 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 and we are pretty much in the direct sunlight trying to get this phone hot and so far so good when it comes down to that display is still bright it has not dimmed there has not been any throttling with this device or anything so that's a good sign so let's go ahead and see if we could get this phone hot with some more videos Okay, so the phone is a little bit warm, but nothing too serious. And as you can see, you could still see the display just fine. It's probably gonna 
dim down right here in the shade and then we'll get back up to full brightness once we get back into the sun and like I said so far so good this phone is not overheated uh, I've been recording some video quite a lot maybe a minute each nothing too long but and granted like I said it's not as hot as it usually has been in the past so so far so good the phone is not overheated um, still able to record video have not gotten any warnings or anything like that so maybe this tensor chip is actually doing pretty good when it comes down to overheating and the uh, throttling and things like that and I sort of like how the screen is polarized you can see it in the Sun which is pretty cool it has like a sort of like a sunglass tint or like your tinted windows look to it so that's pretty cool so yeah, Google Pixel 8 actually doing pretty good out and about shooting video, being on in the sunlight and no warnings. All right, so I think this test is concluded. Had not had one single warning about not being able to film or the phone overheating or getting too hot. Uh, so far, so good. Have not had any issues. It is quite windy out here. And I've been shooting video and shooting pictures and nothing has happened on the phone. So hopefully that concludes this test and the Google Tensor G3 is actually really good as far as thermals go and the Pixel 8 really great cameras by the way cannot wait to test this out further and compare it to other devices so yeah Pixel 8 has passed hopefully this works because it's not as hot that's my only concern but thank you guys for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it useful if you have subscribe and click that bell icon that we don't miss out on future videos on the Pixel 8. Peace.